Welcome once again to the Russell Brown Show and this special Adobe Photoshop CS4 tutorial that will give you a quick look at some of the new extended features found in CS4. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about working with 3D objects. And to begin with, right up here, check this out. Under this new 3D menu, you can select any 2D layer and turn it into what's called a new 3D postcard layer. That gives you the ability to take that 2D layer, rotate and spin it around as a 3D object. Next, you can also take any 2D layer and wrap it around any of these default 3D objects built into CS4. And finally down here, you can create a new mesh from grayscale, or in other words, you can create a 3D object from a grayscale image. But wait, the real beauty of working with CS4 on 3D objects are these next new features. To begin with, one of the ones I really like is the ability to change the lighting of any scene. When you import a 3D object into CS4, many times it comes in with its own lights. But you can now go in and adjust those lights as you see here. You not only can adjust them, you can add new lights of your own and you can also delete any of the lights that come with the model. Okay, but here is something that's even better. I'm going to zoom in here on my dinosaur. I'm going to select a brush over here in my tool palette because you can now paint directly onto any 3D object. As you can see here, I'm using my brush tool and painting directly on this dinosaur. And as we know, dinosaurs aren't always gray, so I'm going in and I can add some colorization to my dinosaur here, just like this. And then if I use any of my move tools, as you see here, you can see, yes indeed, that I've painted directly onto that dinosaur. Next, let's talk about some of the new ways that you can image and print any 3D document. To begin with, I'm going to display this in what's called the anaglyphic preview mode right here. When I'm displaying my image in this mode, I can put on a pair of red, blue 3D glasses, and I can then look at this scene in 3D. It's really, really fantastic. But on top of that, I could print this image and actually use the same 3D glasses to view this on an actual inkjet print. But even better, you can also turn on a rendering mode called interlacing, right like this. And if I zoom in on this image, you can see that the image is now interlaced. If you take this image now and print it on any inkjet printer and then laminate it to a special lens, as you see here, you can then view your 3D scene in all of its 3D glory. And you can do this without having to wear a pair of 3D glasses. So there are some of the new features found in Adobe CS4 Extended when working with 3D images.